Hello, this is a tutorial on how to create your own 3D assets, your 3D masks and import them into the Studio app. There's multiple ways of achieving the same results. In this case, we will start with the texture. We will assemble and merge all the parts in one single file in order to keep it simple. You can use multiple textures, but it's better and it's lighter for the processor if you use only one. So let's start to create a square. 512 by 512 should be enough. And we will fit all the parts in the same file. We will export it as a PNG in order to preserve the transparency, the alpha channel. Then we will open Maya or the 3D editor that you like. And then you import the, the texture that you just created into the program. We will use that as a reference and we will model on top of that. This is a technique known as 2.5D, so it's basically a 2D planner model with some depth to it in a 3D space. Uh, this technique really works for this particular case. Once the 3D model is completed, we want to create the UVs. The UVs are the 2D planification of the 3D model. In this case, since we model on top of the reference of a 2D plane, we want to do a planner projection. After that, we can apply the same file we created before as a texture for this model. Now we can get rid of the reference and stick to the model we just created. We should open the outliner, we should name the geometries we just created to keep things organized. Now we want to make sure that all the pieces are in the right place. For that we will import the dense mesh and we will move and rescale our parts accordingly. In order to be more accurate, you should rotate the dense mesh 25 degrees in the X axis. We should delete history and reset transformations. Now we are ready to export our model. For that, we will select the geometry that we want and we export selection. We should export it in the FBX format file. We recommend FBX 2011 or 2012 in binary format. You can create or import full-blown 3D models. You don't need to stick to the 2.5D approach. But let's jump back to our kitten mask and let's import it into the Studio app. Let's start by importing the FBX and then we will add the texture file. After this, we want to connect the shader to the texture. Then we press refresh model and we can test it right away. Now let's say that we want to add a deformer to the face. We want to make the user eyes look bigger. We go back to Maya, we create a duplicate of the dense mesh. We deform that duplicated mesh. And then we apply it to the original dense mesh as a blend shape. After it's done, we rotate the dense mesh back to zero, back to the original position, and we make sure that we export both the mask assets and the dense mesh. Back to the Studio app, we will import a new mask as we did before. And you will notice that now we will have both the 3D assets we created and the deformer in the face. And there you have it. Thank you.